Welcome to another episode of Have You Seen It? I am Charles and I am with the lovely Denise. How you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm loving the hairdo. Thank you. <laughs> right. So let's go into our recommendations for this week. So Denise, yes. who are you recommending? Yes. What movie right. are you recommending? I am recommending the movie, The Trial of the Chicago Seven, which is on Netflix. And it stars Eddie Redmayne as Tom Hayden, Sasha Baron Cohen as Abby Hoffman, Yaya Abdul-Mateen as Bobby Seals, Frank Langella as Judge Julius Hoffman, no relation to Abby Hoffman, and Mark Rylance as William Kunstler there, uh, the attorney in this uh, trial. Basically, it's the story of seven people who are on trial stemming from various charges surrounding the 1968 Democratic National Convention. So these protesters um, have sort of camped out and their plan is to go to the National Convention, the 1968 National Convention, and disrupt it by protesting the Vietnam War, basically. But in the movie, you will see not only um, film footage, you know, from that particular time period, you will see a clash between police and protesters. And as these gentlemen are on trial, the question comes up as to who the instigators were. Were they the protesters, the rowdy mob, or were the police the instigators? So you have a lot of that back and forth throughout the um, trial. And, you know, people who are familiar with that time period and with that trial and those circumstances, you know the outcome. But from a historical standpoint, because I was a child during that time, this was very <laughs> interesting to watch. And you, if you fast forward now to the protests that are going on with uh, Black Lives Matter and the insurrection at the Capitol and who the instigators were and were not, you see a lot of you know, you can draw a lot of comparisons to how people were protesting back then and how we're protesting now. And um, I thought it was very interesting. So I recommend the trial of the Chicago 7 if you want a little history. And yes, I did Google afterwards because I wanted to know a little bit more about the characters. So history from the, from the teacher. <laughs> so my recommendation, this week is Justice League, the Zack Snyder version. The Zack Snyder version of this is very good. I was surprised. It literally is kind of the same timeline, but truly a different story. And that starts off from the opening scene when the heroes of Earth were fighting uh, in the Josh Whedon version, Stephen Wolf. Right. In that version, Stephen Wolf really sucked in this version of it. And this is the only kind of this is the only clue I'm going to give you in this movie. The heroes of Earth were fighting Darkseid. So Darkseid actually makes an appearance in this movie. So I'm recommending that give this movie a shot. I think that you're going to be presently surprised that the characters are much more defined in this movie. It's a four hour movie. It took me two days to look at it. <laughs> but I didn't stop looking at it because it was boring. It was really good. The, like I said, it was much more defined. So my recommendation is Justice League, the Zack Snyder version. And you can see that on HBO Max. So Denise, tell everybody who yo nailed it this week is. All right, my nailed it is. 
Eddie Redmayne uh, in the movie Danish Girl, where he plays a transgender pioneer from the 1920s by the name of Lily Elby. And basically he realizes or comes, comes to the realization that he is truly a woman on the inside and he is going to eventually have the transgender operation, uh, the first procedure. And once he decides that I feel like I'm a woman and I want to be a woman, he does that from the, you know, outwardly, the dress and the makeup and the hair and all of that. But once he decides that this is who I really want to be, he goes and takes that step. And uh, if you haven't seen the movie, Eddie Redmayne is remarkable and he deserved that Oscar nomination for his portrayal of Lily Elby in The Danish Girl. That is my nailed it. My nailed it for this week in the continuing theme of if you're going to do a movie over, do it better than the original. And my nailed it is Haley Steinfeld as Maddie Ross in True Grit. They knock it out of the park. Haley Steinfeld playing Maddie Ross, she was awesome as the feisty 14 year old trying to hire someone to go and look for the killer of her father, who was played by Josh Brolin, and he played Tom Clancy. So my nail debt is Haley Steinfeld as Maddie Ross in True Grit. All right, folks, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that like button. And we are available on every podcast platform in the universe. Just type in, have you seen it with Charles and Denise? And there we will be. Thank you for joining us again for another episode of Have You Seen It with Denise, my homie, <laughs> and yours truly. And we're out. Bye-bye.